this figure, Miriam? 298. Uh, the latest confirmed case uh, this morning uh, was in Anglesey in Wales. And let's hope it's not one more now with Paula down in Devon. I think we will be hearing as the day goes on because there is a meeting going on uh, at the Ministry of Agriculture in London and they're discussing the latest developments so we could hear of more cases this afternoon. And what's happening in Cumbria? Farmers there are um, going to seek a judicial review. They're talking about seeking a judicial review of the way the government has handled uh, this crisis. Um, before the slaughter scheme uh, of apparently healthy animals starts, um, the uh, government's chief vet, uh, Jim Scudamore, is going to go to Cumbria tomorrow and talk to farmers and explain to them why it has to happen. And Joyce Quinn, the Deputy Agriculture Minister, is there right now, isn't She's she? She's doing the same thing. Is she getting today. a rough ride? Or? She will be, yes. Farmers are saying that they are going to block their gates, they're going to do whatever they can to stop the slaughter going ahead, whatever they can that is legal. Miriam, thank you very much. Uh, and Farming Today on Radio 4 tomorrow, we'll have lots more news about the foot and mouth outbreak. And that's all from Country File today. We'll be back with you at the same time next Sunday. So until then, goodbye. Next week on Country File, your questions answered about foot and mouth. Email us at this address or write to us at Country File BBC TV, Birmingham B57QQ, as soon as you can. The details are on our CFAX page 616. Return.